Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dahir Bagga and today I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz on lead chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. And before I start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start with the game and see how it goes. Got the white pieces. I'll play the London system setup. Starts with d4. Uh, bishop over to f4. Think pawn e3 next. In most cases, yes. Then you can develop the knight, develop the bishop. And you're pretty good with the opening. It's a solid opening. It can be dynamic yet. You can just plant your bishop here, trying to attack the knight, pinning it. If not, bishop over here. Okay. That's a strange choice, I would say. I can go here. Or uh, maybe I should just take here. Because I'm threatening to take on the rook next. Okay. Which my opponent safeguards. Um... Uh, Come to the other side of the board as well. Doesn't doesn't make harm me with anything. Opponent left the game. That's strange. Because this is strange opening, maybe. Because we have spoiled the pawn structure already. So my opponent will be looking forward to casting over to the other side. But I'll first attack this pawn so that he has to play one of these. Then I'll pin the knight and take that as well because that's is going to be one of the defenders once my opponent prepares uh, casts over to the other side of the board. Um, can go ahead with the knight. I'm threatening to take another pawn there, uh, which my opponent happens to defend now. Um, maybe I can just move my knight. I can let my opponent take. I take with the knight. That's a good option. Okay. Now I have to take. My opponent takes with the queen. And I jump in with the knight. Attacking the queen. Attacking a pawn. Both can be defended by playing queen here. And what happens next is. I can develop my queen, prepare into castle. Can play pawn forward. Maybe take next. This knight is not going to be troubling me much. Open can take here. Okay. I can take back. Open and takes. I take. Open cannot take here as I can take the rook next. Actually, it's okay for him still, but he chooses the other way around. I can take the center pawn maybe. Makes sense. Trying to exchange queens and then take another pawn maybe, or a folk. Anything should be fine. Besides, I like extra pawns. So does my opponent. Okay, attacks. My knight, I'll take the pawn, I am still defending this, okay, I'll take and I can castle now, that's the best part. So eventually I'm left with a decent amount of stuff. Okay, I can come back, open pushes the pawn forward. I can go here. How's the knight over here after he pushes the pawn? Because that's the best move, I think. Maybe rook here. I can defend. It pushes the pawn. I go here and attacking the pawn. And he ignores it. I don't know it's wise or not. 
but he ignored it for a moment. I'm still attacking the pawn. And that can't be saved unless he moves the rook backwards. Oh, even the rook backwards doesn't save it. Sadly. So he can proceed. I take. And I get to have double pawns. It's the best he can afford. But I take the pawn. Okay, so he loses the pawn there. Pushes the pawn forward, which I can take. And my opponent resigns, understanding that he cannot defeat me with this kind of weak three pawns, because of course this side is settled with three each. I've got three extra pawns, and that's more than enough advantage that you need in the end game to win it. Let's see from computer perspective once. Side off with d4, d5, bishop f4, played the London system setup. Open advanced the pawn too much, and then I take on the knight, takes back, go back with the knight, and then play bishop, open plays there. I attack, pin the knight, and then I take, the, I didn't take the bishop, I just moved my knight. Then I take the bishop and go ahead with the other knight. It's kind of equal, uh, having slight advantage throughout the game, if you see. Right moves there. I lost the pawn, but yeah. Right move, taking on the pawn. And then I exchange the queens. I could have gone with queen f5. That was better because then I'm threatening to take on the next pawn and threatening to take on the knight. And that's a good square to be in, in uh, preventing queenside castle as well. But I went for the exchange, the safer option always. Then I take another pawn there, opponent takes back, I take the rook, uh, and then I just cancel queen side, opponent tries to attack my knight, I go back, he tries to attack it further, I go here, tries to take the pawn which I defend, and then that's a free pawn, he pushes the pawn forward, I take, and my opponent resigns. So three extra pawns are too much, and I, I just played simple chess, I didn't do anything fancy there, no tactical moves as such. I just played simple chess. Uh, that's how London system can be effective. So do try out if you don't uh, play this as of now. And I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And thanks for watching this. Do give a thumbs up as well to the video. Take care. Bye-bye.